Good morning and uh, praise the Lord. Greetings from Uganda. I am glad to share with you this morning. My name is Simon and uh, I am just here seated. Today is a Sunday. It is now the morning, normally the hour when we should be at church and uh, worshiping and praising God. But uh, because of the lockdown uh, resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic, Uganda is still locked and uh, the church services are still not going on. We therefore visit one another in the course of the week and uh, every Sunday we at times meet to pray or at times we just decide to individually study the word of God and uh, and meditate upon upon his word. I have been meditating this morning even as I was reading Psalm chapter 3 where David was uh, was um, entrusting his life upon the hands of God and being sure of uh, the deliverance of the Lord. This was a time when uh, uh, David's son, King David's son Absalom, had uh, conspired with a few of uh, the, 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 the people in the ranks of David and uh, they had uh, kind of uh, uh, de designed uh, a coup and uh, David was, uh, was uh, literally out of power. Absalom was already in power, he had taken over by force. But David was not worried. He knew that uh, the Lord would keep him safe, despite what was pending around him. And uh, when I look at the situation around us even today, the pandemic is threatening, is uh, disturbing us and uh, scaring many people, killing in some places and uh, doing a lot of havoc. But uh, I am confident that the Lord will worship the Lord will preach about the King of Kings, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, is a God of victory and is never defeated. So I know that this pandemic is just but for a temporary time. Therefore, I am confident, even as David was confident of the deliverance of the Lord, I too, I am confident and I concur with King David that the Lord is near and the Lord is even uh, available during this time of the pandemic. As much as colleagues are dying and things are happening, I am not afraid because I know that the Lord is with us. I know that the Lord is with his church. Therefore, I encourage you, colleagues, even colleagues from Brazil, be reminded that the Lord is, is with us. I know COVID-19 has done a lot of havoc to the community in Brazil. Very many people have died and very many people are infected. But I want to encourage you that the Lord is there. The Lord who is in Uganda is the same God who is in Brazil. The Lord who was with David that particular time is the same God who is with the Brazilians and who is with us in the whole world. Therefore, I, in I encourage you to Raise your hope in the Lord and be assured that the Lord is with you. And we always pray for you and we continue to appreciate the way the, the, the colleagues, brethren, the Mennonite brethren from, from uh, Brazil have stood with us. Thank you, my brother, Rosvaldo Gotilins. You have been leading and uh, linking uh, the Mennonita Nevada in Embu with uh, the Mennonite Church in Uganda. We want to appreciate the way you have supported us. I remember you contributed greatly to the roofing of the church. We bought iron sheets and even now as I talk, the church roof is almost complete. We are remaining with about uh, maybe 12 to 14 iron sheets and uh, the whole work will be done. I also want to appreciate that recently uh, uh, you stood with us when uh, I shared the need to support this family of uh, Susan Namugasa or Mirembe family where they were ejected from the house where they were living 
and they had nowhere to go. When I shared this, my brother Rosivaldo Gotti Lins shared with uh, the Mennonite Church, uh, Menonita, Nevada. I believe that is the right name, it is a Portuguese name. I hope I am pronouncing it well, but I guess you understand the church I am talking about. My brother Lins, thank you so much for being in between and thank you that you always share our needs with the church. I want to thank um, the church. Uh, I remember I have had uh, some chats with a few of the leaders and I want to appreciate that uh, the leadership of the church in Brazil has always stood with us. Thank you so much. Thank you again and thank you indeed for the, for the generosity you have always shown towards our needs. I know even now my brother Rosivaldo is still reaching out to many and we appeal that you respond to this need. The church in Uganda is very young, but we thank God that we are not young in age. We are not even young in the faith. We are only young in membership of the Mennonite World Conference, but we have been there and we are still there. We thank God for the Mennonite World Conference, that we are part of this good family, a loving, caring family. A family that uh, prays even for the members, or for her members. A family that is feeling with those who are feeling. A family that is always ready to stand with the member churches. We thank God that we are part of this good family. Thank you again. Thank you. And I want to again re-echo my appreciation to the church in Brazil. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you, church. God bless you, my brother Loros Valdo. God bless your family. May our relationship continue. And I believe that soon and very soon we will get time to, to meet and share in fellowship. May the Lord continue to bless you and lead you. And may the Lord use us together to edify one another. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. This lady... Uh, Susan Namugos or Mirembe family whom you supported we continue to to pray that she will leave the classroom because right now she is accommodated in, the, in one of the classrooms we had put for the children to learn but since the COVID-19 lockdown the schools are not operating in Uganda and uh, we had nowhere to take her but that is where she is and we are praying because the schools very soon, I heard the president talking last night when there was a national prayer, uh, prayer day yesterday. It was even declared a public holiday. And there was a hint that the, ch the, the church services and schools might be opened soon. So I'm just worried because uh, as we open schools and children will get back to the class to learn, where will this family live? they will have nowhere to live. But I know that the Lord has got a better plan for them. And uh, may God continue, may God's will be done. And may he lead you, even as you stand with us in prayer, in whichever form, may the Lord continue to bless us together. Pray for us as we serve in this place, as we pray for you, pray for this family, and stand with us. We still have needs our infrastructure is still not uh, fully developed. A lot of our churches <coughs> are operating under trees. And uh, they need construction. They need the structures. But I know that the Lord's timing is the best. Therefore, we continue to call upon prayers. Join us in prayer as we look upon God towards providing this need. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you for standing with us. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.